Hello, Gemini. We see your catalyst card for this month is deep quiet, meditation, and stillness. The catalyst is a card that spirit, in which spirit recommends is what you actually do this month, that you take the time for deep quiet meditation and stillness. The outcome of following that advice specifically is that you will rejuvenate your creative energies. You will find your resilience after what appears to be a very, very tough cycle that you've been in. And your abundance will grow. And your audience, if you're doing anything creative, will grow. But regardless of the type of business or career you're in, and this is for Gemini rising as well as sun sign, your outcome is abundance. When we're looking at your first and your seventh house on the astrology wheel, you are in hot pursuit of a loving relationship. You may find yourself in a relationship with somebody who has a different ethnicity, belief system, uh, customs, culture, or they may be from a different country. But you will find fulfillment in the very near future if it isn't already present in your life. When we look at your second house of earned income we see heartbreak and what we're seeing here and this is also your belongings and everything that you desire this is everything that you value it looks as though someone close to you someone in your inner circle has broken your heart or you've had a situation in which somebody has actually taken something from you and it could be monetary theft as in somebody stealing copyrighted content uh, or it can just simply be somebody taking advantage of you but it has caused you a great deal of heartache and it's someone who's close to you who has perpetrated this heartbreak the resilience card is really very helpful here you know what we're seeing here is that you get your resilience by meditating and healing we do see that you're moving ahead very rapidly. If someone has taken something from you of value, the Pluto card is a death card in the Tarot, and it means that they will be stopped. Again, this signifies career, okay? So we see that whatever injustice has been done to you career-wise, the Ace of Wands shows that you are popping back up and that you're going after what you want with a lot of gusto. For those of you who are looking to change your life dramatically by taking action, refinancing a home or buying a home or changing the way you you, you you earn your income, say if you've lost a job, which is very possible with the, this combination, you will begin something that you will have a passionate love for. And again, you know, follow the advice of the Catalyst card to get to your destination that's desired. This is a life transformative change that will then bring you a great deal of success. When we look at the third house of contracts, and we look at the ninth house of publishing, you are finding that basically your success can be found at home or in your local neighborhood. We see that for you, you have this, you know, if you wanted to go back to school and study, you would find it very fruitful at this time. You would be very happy. If you are in pursuit of a relationship, you could very well find that relationship or happily ever after in the environment of higher education. When we look at the world card, it is closing out one cycle, and that's why I suggest that this is probably, you're either going to physically move, you may move abroad because that is the world card, but you will find your contentment, you will find your happiness, and given the fact that we see Sagittarius on the energy of your ninth house, again, it sort of solidifies this thought that you may be soon in a relationship, if not already, with someone who is uh, from a different country. You could meet them also in an educational setting. When we look at your fourth house and tenth house, 
this is Scorpio rules your fourth house if you're a, a Gemini ascendant. And that is always about deep change. And the deep change that we see coming for you is that you really want, you know, probably many of you would like to have a pet. So if you're living in a space that doesn't allow it, it looks like you will make the move to move into a space which there's room to study. We see a library here. We see passionate embrace you know, this uh, a place that you would really love to be, a place you can put down roots and have stability. This is Taurus. If you are buying a home right now or you're even thinking of selling a home, you should be able to get a very good amount of money or get a good deal. So you're either buying something that looks like luxurious and or it means that you are selling something that's luxurious, but at any rate, you are going to have a very passionate love of the physical home that you are in. You could be redecorating. So when we look now at your 10th house of career, Remember I said we have this situation over here, how you earn money. 10th house of career for you has Pisces on that cusp. We see Neptune in Pisces, which really, it's like fog, pure fog. Mercury is there. So the information you're getting in your career house at this time may be inaccurate. When we get the tower card reversed, that energy speaks to the fact that you are going to avert, you're going to avert and avoid any Neptunian or dishonest energy. So in your career house, if somebody were trying to really hurt you, unravel you, take credit for something you've done, they won't succeed in doing it. So this is a very successful energy for you. It's it's almost like, wow, near miss. You know, that person almost had my purse or that person almost had my bank account or that person may have hacked my email account. Uh, and it really shows that you will be averting some sort of difficult situation, a tower card, something that could really impact you negatively. As we go on to your fifth house of romance, your fifth house is, you know, very much geared towards Libra energy. Your fifth house is about partnership. So Gemini, for many of you, you know, it's we all know it's a misconception that Geminis are totally frivolous. When you look at love and you are having a very passionate new beginning at this time, you know, we're seeing this right here, right? Somebody's either pursuing you, you're pursuing them happily ever after. There's so much love here in this reading that what we see is that you're going to have a lot of fun. You may travel to another destination. This can be airfare, eight of wands, flying through the air rapidly. It's also communication with a partner, a love interest. It's also just having fun. This is sex and romance and making love and, you know, just enjoying life in its very, very pure way. We see that your partner is very emotional. Sun and Venus are currently in Aries. So we see that when it looks like you know love and romance you may be loving and romancing somebody that you've known a long time somebody who is a friend somebody who almost feels familial to you again lots of great love energy tons of it so for many of you you are in this beautiful time when you're overcoming what appears to be a career heartbreak a career issue something that's impacting you at a very emotional way in a very emotional way but we're also seeing you transcend um, you know once again using this energy of the catalyst so when we look at your sixth house of everyday life and that is what you get up that's monday through friday or monday through sunday you know how are you living your life and we see the wheel of fortune for many of you you're making major changes the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and it's really sharing with us that you have good luck abundance at this time any health habit that you would like to change anything that you would like to do for your appearance your health 
looks very successful because Scorpio energy on that house indicates that you're especially in a good situation of being able to lose weight or exercise and you're going to enjoy it. We see here your 12th house of what is hidden and we get Taurus energy. Now I am going to say that for some of you, you may suddenly begin a relationship with somebody you've known a long time and it may be hidden. It may not be public for a period of time because we have the Taurus Queen here. You know, we have the Empress. We have the Taurus um, King here. And we have Taurus as your 12th house and Uranus meaning big surprises and new beginnings, a substantial offer. For some of you, you may actually, you know, fly off to another destination and you may marry, you know, you may marry secretly. You may not tell your family. You may just say, you know, let's just do this. We'll tell everyone later, which could cause heartbreak for some, but that will only be for a few people. So as always, take the cards that fit the description of who you are and where you're at and leave the rest behind. It's a general reading. The energy that I have for you of this, um, the 12th house energy really expanded itself. A clump of cards fell out. So that which is secret, I'm going to go into more of this energy that I just spoke about because at the same time we have new love, which really supports this idea that you're in love with somebody you've probably known a long time and that it looks like at the very minimum the ace of coins and the ace of cups a new solid offer of love the fifth house is lit up which is the is the house of leo energy in the aries chart in the horoscope wheel and what we're seeing here is the leo king we see the sun card that's the happiest card in the deck leo king energy really somebody taking control, taking command of a situation that caused some heartache and pain. You know, again, this is a friend energy. I feel as though you fell in love with a friend, that you've had a relationship that has not been well known to others, and that you are moving to a much happier and better place at this time in this reading. So let's go ahead and clarify. I want to clarify just a couple of cards here. Let's see what the energy is. Oh my gosh, of course. Lady of Sorrows the, on the heartbreak, okay. What we're seeing here is that Gemini, you're very innocent. You're very innocent and you love in a very innocent way. And it has brought you heartache. And what's going on right now? What brought the heartache on? Let's see. What is this? The Lady of Sorrows. What caused the heartache here for you? The heartless love. So somebody that you were involved with in the past has really shown a lack of interest. Oh, here we have the Thief card. All right. So the Thief card tells me that somebody really took something from you. And it does look like it was somebody that you thought would love you. In many ways, this is going to be a multi-layered interpretation because I feel as though somebody close to you, um, let's, yeah, I feel as though somebody close to you took your love, did not return your love, they may have been innocent or they may have been a person of immaturity. They could have been younger than you. But what we're seeing is that it caused you great sorrow. Let's look at the outcome of this energy for you. What is the outcome of this particular energy for the month? What is the outcome of this energy for you? The Queen of Shadows. Okay. So it does show that you're going to meditate. The Queen of Shadows is about meditation. The Prince of Light is coming in. We see someone's coming in to tell the truth. So it does appear that your love, whoever hurt you, is coming in to fix this, the fixer. Now be careful because they could just whitewash things. But we do see the Prince of Light. Somebody is going to come in to talk to you. And as we can see here, you want that you know so let's look and see another card of what spirit is advising you at this time 
when we look at the destiny card for the reading we're getting your destiny is leadership take control be willing to say what you need be the leader in the relationship let's get one last card empty the well time to replenish again heal yourself thanks gemini